Hey, get back here. So today I got a couple of topics I want to talk about. First off is EA's reasoning for raising the level pack. Secondly is why I'm going back to current gen Madden. Um, and it's it's there's a lot on both of these things. I hope I can get to it in a precise manner. So I'm gonna try and remain calm, not get too angry. I was a little fired up early on stream today. I'm gonna try and be rational, Fox, and kind of lay out uh, my thoughts about both topics. So buckle up. All right, first let's take a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Man, I'm getting good at those. All right, so level pack increase. EA yesterday, you know, after our whole thing about Kralo came out, they responded, which is great, right? I, I don't know, Kralo... Didn't necessarily fall, fall on his sword, right? He's still employed by EA, um, but, you know, kind of brought it to the forefront because we have been begging and asking, and he had been sending stuff forward to the business folks, not getting any response, and you know what? When you go number five trending in the world on Twitter, EA tends to take notice, and they did, and they responded to this, and uh, for the follow-up on Kralo, if you guys didn't see his tweets, he'll be taking the week off, Farrells will be hosting GMM, but he'll be back for a special stream, I would assume to preview whatever the big next promo is, whether it's uh, the Chris's promo, next series standouts. Let's talk about next series here in a second also. Um, we'll actually do that at the end after the uh, next gen man and why I'm going back to current gen. But, so let's read, through the, let's read through the talks, right? All right. Hey, Madden community. Super happy. I guess not really. There's no exclamation point. We want to provide you with an update on Mutt Level Pack's price change. We saw an issue begin to surface last week that was imbalancing the in-game economy in Mutt. I'll finish this one before I get my thoughts on that. The new level packs were artificially inflating coin pricing of items in the auction house, making it more difficult for all players to obtain these items. Now, this we know is something that if they would have said this at the beginning of the year, right? When the auction house was high. When it was like, there's no solos to grind, the coin car the cost of all these cards, these limiteds, these things are too high. But right now, if you look at in the market, and I'll bring it up, the coin value of cards right now is lower than ever, right? This this is much lower than last year. This year is absurd. The prices that we're getting on training just alone. This is how we really value it year to year. We're getting eight, nine. This was updated earlier today. I guess I didn't up. I haven't updated my update date. I always forget to do that. Uh, but like, and this was absurdly low during Blitz too. Um, and, and so like when they say this began last week, surface. That's a straight bold face lie, right? This this has been a problem for the whole year, if this is their reasoning. Because people on their farm accounts will level grind, and this is one of the reasons why they took away the good leveling solos. They went it from 200 to 50, and they've only kind of like let us do that. They took away those Thanksgiving solos. That was a really easy grind. Uh, so like, okay, fine. But don't lie to us like that. Imbalancing the in-game economy, also a lie. The in-game economy is not imbalanced by these things. The only thing... That's that's wrong with these level packs is the fact that you're banning people for farming them, right? The fact that this is the way that you do your level rewards versus, say, MLB The Show who does their level rewards by giving away players that you can add to your roster that are relevant for teams. Now, they're a little overpowered in MLB The Show when they give away the level rewards. True. MLB The Show also does a much better leveling system. You can't just, like, replay the same solo over and over. I think that's a dumb leveling system for Madden. Uh, but this isn't a leveling uh problem video they got to change it next year though that's the biggest problem so artificially inflating coin pricing of items in the auction house the, uh, another like i just almost every single sentence this thing has a new lie right making it more difficult for players to obtain these items like every single thing had a new lie i and they just don't expect us uh, okay i wasn't gonna get angry they they really think we're idiots is the problem right that's what i'm like like talk to us straight right we can handle it we're adults they can say, you know, people were farming it and we thought, you know, maybe one person with five farm accounts shouldn't be able to transfer however many coins, right? As you see, I haven't even, I haven't even bought these things, right? Um, scrolling down further, they say, we made a decision last week to increase the price of level packs to stop the issue from negatively impacting everyone. If you leveled up and unlocked these packs before the price increase, but have yet purchased them after the price increase, please contact our customer service team and we will refund the distance difference. We consistently monitor the state of the game's overall health to ensure that play experience is fun for everyone. Our top priority when designing and building the game is maintaining balance for all players. Now, okay. 
you can say that, but we know that's not true, right? It's getting more money out of players is your number one thing. And you're a business, so that's kind of what businesses do. Some do it better than others. CD Projekt Red does it by respecting their players. EA does it by squeezing us. And this is a squeeze, right? It's it's one lie on top of another. And, and, and the thing is, like, if they just tell us the real reason of people farming, of other people farming, maybe, you know, selling coins for farming... I don't know. Maybe they like some people could have like a ton of like uh, like overseas. I saw one comment like maybe overseas uh, companies just have a lot of people grinding a lot of levels on different accounts. But then they got to spend money on the coins and then to resell it, which you know very well could happen. We got a lot of bot problems online too with people generating coins. So like it's clearly not what they're kind of going for the balance of online economy because then they were worried more about the, those bots and head to head if they cared about balance for all players like i faced one of my afc or my championship i just say afc champion because i'm a steelers fan so like obviously not true and i could go over here like over example 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 of things that are not balanced in this game but that's just kind of how, how i leave it right it's 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 kind of like that politics thing where there's a real reason, but you don't say the real reason for you doing something. You make up another reason that sounds more palatable to people for why you're doing it. And this is exactly what we just got done by EA to us. They w could be doing it because of, you know, like I said, the farm account thing, but they can't say, hey, man, our players are farming and they won't have to buy as many packs if they can just go to multiple accounts and get it that way. And then they don't have to buy other things for making actually less money. They won't do that. All right, so it it sucks that EA politicianed us and just thinks of us like pieces of shit. So that's all my thoughts on that. Didn't get angry, right? Maybe a little heated there, but I I I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. <sighs> Moving on, next gen. All right, why am I going back to current gen? Now I'm currently on next gen because I'm in mutt. And I'm not gonna play it in mutt. Next gen, uh, old gen, same thing. Um, faster load screen is great on next gen, right? And I've talked about all my pros and cons of next gen, current gen, what I thought about that. You can go back and watch those videos, initial impressions, second follow-up video. Those those basically hold true, right? Those things that I talked about. Now, I, I specifically want to talk about movement, right? Clint Oldenburg tweeted after somebody uh, asked him, uh, I don't anticipate a speed up in the movement. The movement comes straight from NFL players, so it's moving at authentic speeds now. It'll take time to get used to it. Give it a fair shot, yeah. Okay, so... It's it's a good thing to give it a fair shot. Okay, uh, let me say, okay, I'll believe him that it's moving on the speed and acceleration portion of the players, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say, yes, okay, I'll, I'll believe you there. I, I, I think that's something you focused on. Your routes that your players are running, more rounded, great stuff there. My, uh, and I really want to focus this down, is on the agility factor. The going from one thing to another, using the left stick to make like moves and stop, go other directions, different ways of going on this thumbstick versus having to move like ball here, like pre-canned animations, right? The Madden community for years has complained about pre-canned animations taking over the game. So like when Stop and Go comes out and we can kind of do our own thing to kind of like be the guy with our stick versus his stick, that just shows that we're a better gamer than them. And so like, we'll say acceleration speed is fine, okay? But this is kind of what I'm looking at. Like, this is Reggie Bush stop and go. It's like, okay, he stops, stops, and then cuts and goes in the middle, right? That's the problem I have currently is that, like, I can't stop and then cur and then cut direction like Reggie Bush. Or, or, or another good example is this one from Jerry Judy. Stop, go, go, and then this guy can't cut with him. He just out stick skilled him, right? This year, you, you have to throw it into a pre canned animation so I can't show. So, like, this guy... If this is my opponent's, I would have to go juke, juke, and then he'd have to like fall over because the computer told him to. Instead, what, what I, I ideally want is to be able to go back and forth, stop on a dime, stop on a dime, then go forward, right? That's the kind of stuff that I'm missing from Madden right now and what I think makes it a fun, realistic experience, right? The inability to do this is actually unrealistic. A lot of people take the, the bad cuts as like adding more realism to the game. That's just not true. You're actually taking away from the realism, not allowing to do these cuts with the best players in the world, right? These guys are a different level. Throw what you know about when you played high school football out the window. You will not, and nobody you faced, unless you faced, you know, a future pro with the, the 1% of the 1%, you will not have faced this kind of movement. 
So it's 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 realistic, maybe moving down the field, acceleration speed, okay. But this kind of stuff, that's what I miss. And that's why the biggest problem I have with next gen movement. Now, other things with next gen and why I went to current gen, it's an offensive game. Defense is horrible. But they didn't they didn't tune up man coverage. The the new routes like destroy everything. If there's a cut in a new route, your man coverage just isn't working. Um, guys will just get run past in cover three, cover two, whatever you want to run out there. It's the most offensive Madden game we've had in a long time, right? Run fits are also dead. If you try and stop the run and zone coverage, your linebacker will bail out. And it's it's frustrating that Ray Lewis, I just got him, right? You can just look at him on the screen. I just got him. And he is not doing proper run fits. He's not reacting to a, a, a guy coming at him from a guard tackle position. He act, I've actually seen him bail against the run when I didn't bask him it. Uh, against the run so like it's frustrating i think i form is too dominant dive power and then if they go to man coverage to stop you just throw a corner route or a post pattern and boom easy time so it's 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 a little frustrating right now um with, with the gameplay and i just think last gen is more fun so from here on out second gameplay on my twitch stream until we see it like a patch hopefully we'll fix a lot of the game issues and, and the thing is like okay ea they just launched two Madden games in the era of COVID. I mean, that is difficult. We sit here and complain about it, but like, we've never really had a great next-gen game the first game, right? Madden 06 is literally the worst game purchase I've ever made in my life. And then like, this year, I, I don't know, I, I set myself up too much, right? I had too high of expe expectations. So like, I'm actually, I, I really like the option to go back and play on the PS4 version um, on my PS5 because it just it, that flexibility is is really nice and I, I just have more fun playing that game i think it's a better tuned better balanced product but the next gen stats with the movement acceleration i could see that becoming well if they are not a lot of the coverage issues man issues wheel routes beat man now you got to take that away or else man will never come back um i form being too dominant players falling forward too much with running backs and stuff defensive line not pushing or holding the ground them get they get dominated by offensive linemen um and i think the next gen game can be a good game right i want to be positive nothing that i've seen here is something that can't be patched out the fundamentals you know the, the old code is sometimes referred to as a spaghetti code uh at ea but they can still fix a lot of the problems that we have so hopefully that's true hopefully they do and and you know what expecting a, a polished game right out the block from ea on next gen w probably was a little bit too high of expectations for me and and that's where I think I got myself let down with. But I do think I, I, I have faith going forward. I, Madden 21 is better game than Madden 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, etc. And Madden 21 on last gen is, or current gen, Madden 21, is probably one of the best game playing Maddens of all time. Not franchise. Franchises got awful. Don't get me at that. Like 05, still the GOAT for my favorite old Madden for franchise and stuff. But like, there you go. That's... My thoughts about next gen and why I'm going back to current gen. I, it's just, it's more fun, right? Users reacting to cover up and, and, and fix a lot of the holes, right? Users on, on current gen or on next gen, they still jump up 20 feet to intercept the ball in the scenes when you're at line of scrimmage. That's like the only way I've gotten a lot of my turnovers and I stopped the offense because the zones are so bad, you basically just have to lurk their heart out, heart out and hope that they just try and throw a seam pattern against your guy lurking in the line of scrimmage at Taylor May. So. That's a lot of it. I've seen more fumbles. Ray Lewis did cause a fumble. Check out my second channel for some Ray Lewis gameplay. Maybe tomorrow morning. Um, it is what it is, right? I was very interested. I, I kind of want to talk about the market and the series, but this video is kind of long right now. Maybe we'll do another video tomorrow. Like their half series change that we got on Friday, and it's kind of shady uh, what I think and, and why they did that. But... Let's hope they can fix a lot of the defense in next gen and maybe another patch comes and I'll come back to it. But for now, we're on current gen. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's unpolished, but it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.